Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up IntelliJ IDEA IDE on your Windows operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, before installing IntelliJ IDEA, I will recommend you to download and install Java JDK on your Windows operating system. If you want to develop Java based application using IntelliJ IDEA. So if you don't know how to install and set up Java, I have already created a video about it. So I will put the link of that video in the description. So if you want, you can watch that video. And once you have Java installed, let's start with the installation and setup of IntelliJ IDEA. For that, open your favorite browser and search for IntelliJ IDEA. And the first link which will appear here will be from jetbrains.com forward slash IDEA. So I'm going to click on this link. And when you scroll down a little, you will be able to see this download button here on this page and on the right hand top corner. Also, you will be able to see the download button. So click any of the download button here. Now, IntelliJ IDEA comes in two variants. One is called IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate, which is a paid version. And other is called IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition, which is the open source version. For this video, we are going to download the Community Edition of IntelliJ IDEA. So just click on the download button under IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. So I'm going to click on this button, which is going to start the download of this ideaic.exe file. So let's wait for the download to finish. So once the download of this exe file is finished, I'm going to click on this exe file and let me minimize my browser. And first of all, I can see this kind of warning which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I'm going to click on yes here. And now I can see IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition Setup has been started. On this page, click on next. And this will be the location where the IntelliJ IDEA IDE will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next, next. And now on the next window, you have the installation options. So if you want to create a desktop shortcut, if you want to update the context menu, and if you want to create associations, you can check all these checkboxes. Generally, I check all these checkboxes so that I have the shortcut in my desktop and then all the associations are created for me for IntelliJ IDEA. Also, I like to check this checkbox which says update path variable. For this restart will be needed. So just check this checkbox also. So essentially I have checked all these checkboxes and then click on next. And now choose the start menu folder. I will leave everything as default and then click on next here, which is going to start the installation of IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So at this point, just wait for a few seconds until this progress bar reaches to the 100% mark. So once this installation is finished, I can see uh, this message which says completing the IntelliJ IDEA community setup. Now to finish the installation, you need to reboot your Windows operating system. So I'm going to just select reboot now and then click on finish which is going to restart my Windows operating system. So let's wait for that. So once I have restarted my uh, PC, let's see if IntelliJ IDEA is working properly or not. So for that, I'm going to click on this Windows icon here and then click on all apps. And then I'm going to scroll down a little where it's going to uh, show me this JetBrains result. And under JetBrains, I have installed IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. So I'm going to click on this icon, which is going to launch IntelliJ IDEA. Now on this first window, it's going to ask me if I want to import any settings from uh, Visual Studio Code or PyCharm or other tools which are already installed on my Windows operating system. For now, I don't want to uh, import any settings. So I'm going to click on the Skip Import option. And now you can see IntelliJ IDEA IDE has been started. Now here on the left hand side, you can see a few options. First one is obvious for creating uh, projects or open or cloning your projects. Other one is for customizing your IntelliJ IDEA settings. For example, the appearance or accessibility or key map. 
so let's say i want to change the theme to light theme i can do that but i like this default theme which is the dark theme so i'm going to leave it as default and other options are also given here right similar way uh, you can install some plugins related to uh, intelj idea using this uh, marketplace so you can see you can add the support for scala or all the other uh, tools which are listed here and also you have this learn section to learn something about intelligent idea so for now i'm going to click on the project option and then let's create a new project to verify if everything is working so i'm going to create a very simple java project so for that i'm going to select java here and then i'm going to name my project as uh, my first project and the location for this will be the intellij idea directory so i'm going to leave it as default the build system you can uh, decide which build system you want to use for simplicity i'm going to use the intellij build system you can also use maven or gradle build systems now jdk as i mentioned i have already installed the jdk on my windows operating system so intelij idea has recognized that jdk version which is jdk 23 in my case which is the oracle jdk so i'm going to select that but if you have the other version of jdk you will be able to see all the jdk versions here so you can select one of them also it says add sample code i'm going to leave it as default and also it says generate code with onboarding tips so let's leave everything as default and i'm going to click on create which is going to create my java project so you can see uh, my java project is being created so just wait for a few seconds until all of these uh, settings are populated so now you can see my project is created with this name and here we have few directories under the src directory i have this main.java class and inside this main.java class i also have this uh, print line function which prints hello and welcome and also it prints the value of i from 1 to 5 so at this point i can run my program by clicking on this run button so let's do that which is going to compile and run my java project and i can see this output so first of all it has compiled my java file and then it shows me this output which is hello and welcome and it also shows the value of i from 1 to 5 which is due to this code right also i can see this out folder is created where the compilation output of my project is located which is this main class so everything is working fine in intellij idea so this is how you can install and set up intellij idea on your windows operating system i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video